guys. So today I'm super excited. We're gonna go to Michael's and we're gonna get a new color for a commission cardigan. We're gonna make a blue cardigan with a fried egg on the back and then I'm gonna put two fried eggs as pockets. I'm super excited. Um, so let's go in and check out and see if they have the blue color that I need. Yay, I found the color that I need. This is the blue that we're gonna use. Um, so I'm gonna get a couple of them because the cardigan is gonna be 23 to 24 inches long and so we'll need a lot. So I'll grab probably like four or five. We'll do all five. I'm sorry people, usually I leave a little bit so that other people can get it but I need all of this. Sorry. So I just edited on my Procreate app the fried egg for the new video. This is the custom sweater that I was talking about. And so before it was 27 length by 24. And so what I did, if you can kind of see, um, I made it bigger, the full screen. So now it's 31 chain by 28 rows. And so 31 chain is the length. So we'll have to do, because we like the back piece 74 chains, we're gonna have to put 21 chains and then 31 chains of this whole image. And then again, 22 chains. And that will give us 74 uh, chain total at the bottom. And then we want 50 rows and then it'll give us more room for Ruby because she wants 23 inches long. So 50 minus 28 is um, 22. So then we're gonna do 11 rows and then we're gonna do the egg, which is 28 rows and then 11 more rows. And then I'll give us, and then we'll have more room for ribbing to make it 23. I'm super excited to get started. So let's get started. For this project, I will be using the Impeccable Yarn by Loops and Threads. It's a medium four weight yarn. And I'll also be using a 3.25 millimeter hook because we like our stitches to be tight. I use the same yarn in my cloud cardigan. If you haven't seen it, check out my Instagram page at Life. We're going to start making our 74 chains and watching Mr. Robot while I crochet. Then we're going to chain two and turn our work and start working our lemon peel stitch. Double single, double single, repeating. I will be repeating that for 16 rows and then I will start incorporating the black, white and then yellow for the center. I'm going to continue crocheting and meet you on day two. Here's my day two progress. I have already made half of the egg and I used two balls of blue yarn on each end of the egg. So I'm not wasting yarn going back and forth. Many people ask me how I keep my yarn organized and how I find the charts and make them. So I definitely will be making a video in the future showing how I do that. I will be going on a trip to Costa Rica on Saturday where I'll be filming myself traveling and crocheting. So hopefully when I come back, I'll show you. Here is a picture of the half egg and here is the video of the finished back piece. It looks amazing and I'm smiling hard. After finishing the back panel, we are going to start working on our two front pieces. So I finished one front panel and I just started working on the second one. So I'll probably put on some Netflix show um, and just kind of nail it out or maybe Amazon Prime, I don't know. But first, let's make some delicious dinner. I'm super excited and then let's get back to crocheting. Whoop. I finished both front panels, so now I need to attach it to the back. But first, let me have some coffee. Coffee! I love coffee. Coffee is my life. Let's get back to business. We will be using our yarn needle to attach the two front pieces to the back. I have a detailed video of day two of how I make my cardigans. There you will find how I attach the pieces if you'd like to see. Also just wanted to say quickly, if you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up so I can continue making more cool videos for you guys. While I was working on attaching the panel, something happened to me. Do you ever dip your yarn in coffee? I do it all the time. I do get a little bit sad and a tear runs down my face, but then I cut it off and move on. 
continue attaching both panels and I'll see you at the end. Here's a finished look. Remember we worked on the wrong side, so when I flip it over, it should all look nice and neat. I left 20 rows to do my arms, so now let's start working on that. I wanted to take a picture before the sun goes down, so here is a photo of one sleeve done. And I have already started working on the second sleeve. Ok guys, I finished both sleeves. This is what the cardigan looks so far. So now let's move on to the ribbing and pockets. So I finished the ribbing at the bottom and my customer would like the cardigan to be 23 inches and so that's where it's at, which is awesome. So we're gonna go do the front, the front ribbing right here and then pockets and we're done. Okay, I finished all of the ribbing and it looks awesome. I love the length and I think the customer is really going to like it. So now let's move on to the two front pockets. So I'm going to start working on the pockets and we're also going to do the eggs on the pockets, which is super cute. So I found this little image and what I did, I just expanded it. Um, so I'm going to do 19 chains by um, 17 rows of double single, double single, and then I'll have this egg on the middle. And so the pockets are going to be, yeah, 19 by 17. Um, yeah, and so let's get started. And yeah, I'm super excited because this is the last step and then we'll be done. As I continue to crochet my pockets, I am using the Procreate app to help me mark down the rows. Also, this app has been amazing. I don't have to print the charts, so this app has been very useful to me and I've been saving a lot of paper. I also found out how I can create the charts myself, but I have to play around with the app before making an official video of how to make your own C2C pattern. Here's one of the pockets and I'll continue to make the second one. After completing the pockets, I cut off the yarn on the back to make it nicer on the inside so the customer can put her phone, keys, and whatever else. I am using a yarn needle to attach the pockets. six rows on the bottom because the customer wanted to be 23 inches 23 24 inches so it's 23 and a half i think and then you have the egg but yeah we already talked and um she actually already paid for the cardigan and so i'm going to ship it tonight um, when i get home and so yeah it was really fun working on this cardigan thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day